McAllister Elementary School, and welcome to Friday, to the Friday, April 1st edition of What's Up Wildcats. I am Madeline, and this is my co-host, Noelle. We are here today on the location Camp Read some more to tell you what's happening at MES. This week on What's Up Wildcats, MES will have a special report to in honor of Women's History Month. We will highlight the contributions of famous women in history. This week, we will also share our news from Joe Kapiti with information about the history of the egg hunt, some fun facts about March, and a new opportunity for artists This is so, there is so much happening this spring at MES. Next week is spring break for MES. I know everyone is excited about a week to play outside and have fun at their home with families. Things will be busy at MES when we return from spring break. There are lots of field trips coming up. Purple Up for Military Kids, Georgia Milestone Testing, and the Mother's Son Glow Party. The Glow Party sounds awesome. That is going to be so much fun. Guys, make sure to purchase your tickets to the Glow Party on my, on my pay, not on my pay request. Now let's check in with Adeline. Adeline to learn more about Women's History Month. Hi Wildcats, I am Adeline. I am here to share facts about Women's History Month. This week we will learn about Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor, Just, Justice Sota, Sotomayor is an American lawyer, lawyer and judge. She was appointed a Supreme Court Justice by a President Obama in 2009. She was the first Hispanic person to serve on the court and the third woman. Justice Sotomayor is from New York. Her parents moved to New York from Puerto Rico during World War II. She is known as the judge that saved baseball when she helped settle a case in 1995 during the Major League Baseball strike. Ju Justice Sotomayor works her hard to raise diabetes awareness. She was diagnosed with diabetes at seven years old, and she wants to raise awareness about the disease. She is also the author of two children books. One is about what is like to be different, and the other focuses on being a helper in your community. Your her, her books are just as and just help. Thank you, Adeline, for that report. Now for news crew joke of the day. Hi, MES. I am Emma and this is Shelby. We are here with some spring jokes to start your day. Does February like March? No, but April May. What month is the shortest? May, because it only has three letters. What did Summer say to Spring? Help, I'm going strong. What is Spring's favorite appetizer? A blooming onion. Back to you guys. Thank you for those awesome jokes. Now let's find out what is happening around MES. Shelby for a report on spring egg hunts. And yes, today our pre-K and kindergarten students had their spring egg hunt. Have you ever wondered where the tradition of hunting eggs comes from? Eggs have represented spring since ancient times. Long ago, it was tradition to use up all the eggs in the household before.
for the less traditional one. You will find traditions of decorating eggs in many different cultures. Long ago, eggs were dyed, dyed with things like onion peels, bark, nutshells, or beans to change their colors. In some countries, eggs are decorated using beeswax. Spring is a fun time to enjoy egg games, such as the egg hunt. Each year, there, there is an Easter egg roll on the White House lawn. Where children are invited to come to the White House in Northern England. Children play a game called Egg Tackle. Each player gets a hard boiled egg and hits each other's other players' egg with their own. The last player with an unbroken egg wins. One of my favorite spring traditions is a chocolate egg. Yum! Thank you, Shelby, for that report. Now let's check in with Lilia for the for a report about the MES artists. Hello, MES Wildcats. My name is Lilia, and I'm here to share exciting news for all the artists out there. The MES News Crew is sponsoring the News Crew Art Contest. Each week, we'll have a new theme. Create your art. Put your name, grade, and teacher on the back. Turn your artwork into the box outside of Ms. Hersey's office in the media center. The news crew will pick the top art pieces from each week's theme. This week's theme is Encanto. Draw your favorite symbol from the movie, or create a drawing that represents what your gift would be if you were a member of the Money Gone family. We cannot wait to see what your artwork you all have to share. Back to you, Madeline Noel. look forward to seeing you all after spring break with more fun facts about spring and facts about April. Have an awesome spring break, Wildcats. See ya. Love ya. Bye.